So the William Hill Mile Championship Leg 2, or Division 2, is next in. And it's the top one is Terminator for Paul O'Neill. Blooming Chaser for Thomas Rogers. Oh, I don't know what's called Blooming Chaser in this game as well, don't we? That's a jumper. Alison Felix for Nick Driver. Mont Bleu for Daniel French. Where Next, James Shea. Storming Pete, Alex Cherry. Highland Queen, Tam King. Sea of Tar, Craig Beckwith. Trapes for Obi-Wan. African Grey, Graham Clutterbuck. Hart R.D. Les Martin, Leland Points. Washington, Ryan Costello. County Shambles, John Seaford. And Haska Groom was the bottom one. And that's Ryan Costello as well. They're away and racing. And County Shambles. Over on the far side was one of the first to show. But it's African Grey who's now gone on. Um, pulling for its head. Wants to lead and wants to go faster than the jockey wants to let it. And Mont Bleu has gone on instead. With Where's Next also coming through. Two challenge as well. Then County Shambles and Trapes. Terminators after that one. Then Highland Queen and Sea of Tar. But it's Mont Bleu in the blue. Who's gone on into the lead. Then from... We're next in second, then County Shambles is third, Sea of Tar is after that one, that's the first of the greys, then Trapes, Highland Queen, another grey on the outside of that one, and another grey there, Helska Groom is also well placed, Heart Ideas is trying to get into it as well, on the rail, Terminator, the two that are struggling out the back, and Blooming Chaser and Storming Pete, but it's Mont Bleu in the lead then, as they come down past the five furlong mark, it's Mont Bleu by a couple of lengths, two County Shambles in second, then where next is third, then the two greys, Sea of Tar and Highland Queen, after that one, Heart Ideas trying to get into it, then Trapes and Alison Felix points, Washington's next, and it's still Mont Bleu in the lead though, Mont Bleu still got a good two length lead from the yellow jacketed County Shambles, here comes Highland Queen in third, right over on the far side, Hoska Groom and Hart Ideas are trying to get into it as well, so too's Alison Felix Sea of Tar is still there, where next he's trying to run on, but it's Mont Bleu who's still in front, they've got to get to Mont Bleu yet, Mont Bleu's now going 3-4 clear, it's Mont Bleu pulling away from Highland Queen in second, Alison Felix is now the big challenger on the outside with Hoska Groom but it's Mont Bleu. Jockey has a little look round. He's still got a furlough and a half to go. He needs to keep up the work here because Alison Felix is beginning to close. Mont Bleu's in the lead. Alison Felix is second. Then Highland Queen after that one. And now Highland Queen is beginning to challenge Mont Bleu. Mont Bleu's in the lead. But Mont Bleu's at the end of his tether. And Highland Queen takes it up. Here comes Sea of Tar and Trapes. It's Highland Queen. Sea of Tar. Sea of Tar's just beginning to get up on the outside. Sea of Tar just, I think, from Highland Queen. Hot oh, Ardiles finished like a train as well to probably take third but it was a change of fortune right at the end and Sea of Tar just got up to take it for Craig Beckwith so Sea of Tar for Craig Beckwith the winner Highland Queen for Tam King was second Hart Ardiles for Martin Leedham third Mont Bleu for Daniel French was fourth and Trapes for Obi-Wan was fifth <laughs>